Miguel from eFaucet here. And today, we're gonna to show you how to replace your existing kitchen sink with the Kohler Whitehaven Farmhouse Apron Sink. It's a retrofitting sink, short apron that fits in your existing cabinets. So you don't have to replace the whole cabinet. All you have to do is replace the sink and the countertops. So we're gonna show you how to install that today. So come check it out. Here are some of the tools you will need. Start by removing any accessories in your sink. Next, turn off the water supply and run the faucet to remove any residual water. If you have a dishwasher and or garbage disposal connected, disconnect the power to both. Next, loosen and remove the water supply lines to the faucet. If applicable, loosen and disconnect the supply hose from the air gap to the drain. Next, unscrew the slip nuts on the P-trap from the garbage disposal and waste pipe as well as the other sink drain if applicable and remove them. Have a bucket handy in case of any water remaining in the P-trap. Unscrew the lock nut of the basket strainer and remove the pressure cup and rubber washer, then lift out the basket strainer and set aside. If you have a garbage disposal, insert a screwdriver in the loop of the mounting ring and turn clockwise to loosen the disposer and remove. Next, use the same screwdriver to unhook the snap ring holding the mounting ring to the sink flange and remove. Disconnect the air gap and remove the hose. Next, loosen the screws in the faucet mounting nut and turn counterclockwise to remove. Pull the faucet up and out of the sink. For drop-in sinks, there are brackets holding the sink to the countertop. Loosen the nut and turn the bracket to remove. Gripping from the drain holes, lift the sink off of the counter. It may take some effort to break the glue seal under the sink. Next, remove any screws holding the countertop to the cabinets, as well as any screws holding the countertop to the wall. If you have a dishwasher, remove the screws to the dishwasher brackets as well. You may need a rubber mallet to break any seals of the countertop to the cabinets and wall. Next, lift off and remove the countertop. This may take help. Remove any supports or risers on the cabinets. These will interfere with the granite countertop we will put on later. Next, remove the cabinet doors and false fronts on the sink cabinets. Be careful not to mar the finish. To protect the finish of the cabinet when cutting, apply painter's tape to the cabinet where each cut will be made. Use this surface when marking the measurements. For our first measurement, make sure you are measuring from the outside of the cabinet wall, not the front of the cabinet. Measure 7 eighths of an inch or 22 millimeters from the outside wall and mark the tape. A square is helpful for marking straight lines. Do the same for the opposite side. Cut along the mark line until your cut extends slightly below the front rail of the cabinet. Follow along the bottom edge of the rail and cut towards the outside of the cabinet until you intersect with your first cut. Repeat this for the other side. Next, if your cabinet has a center support, cut along the bottom edge of the opening and remove and discard the rail. If your cut is uneven, you may want to sand it flush. Notice, for proper countertop installation, the top of the sink must not extend above the top of the cabinet. The top surface of the sink should sit approximately 1 16th of an inch or 2 millimeters below the top edge of the cabinet. Also be sure to use appropriate fasteners and material for your support framing that will support up to 300 pounds or 136 kilograms. Next, measure 5 eighths of an inch or 16 millimeters from the top of the cabinet and mark. With a level, draw a line across the cabinet with your marks. Measure the length of the cabinet, then mark and cut your top rail support board. Apply construction adhesive to the board and attach to the cabinet, lining the top of the board with your mark. Ensure the board is level and use clamps to hold the support in position. Double check that your alignment and measurements are correct. Ensure the screws are long enough to secure the support framing, but short enough not to extend through the walls of the adjacent cabinets. Secure the support with screws. Repeat this process for the other side. Next, measure and cut two vertical supports on each side. Apply adhesive to your support board and secure with screws. With help, lower the sink onto the supports and verify the sink is fully supported. Push the sink in until the apron is snug to the front of the cabinet. Then verify the sink is level. Measure the opening for your sink cutout for the countertop. Install the new countertop. With help, shim the sink on the supports to make it level with the countertop. 
Then apply a bead of silicone around the sink where it meets the countertop and wipe off any excess. Next, mark your faucet and air gap holes and cut them out with a granite hole saw. Then install and secure any backsplashes. To install the sink strainers, first roll out a bead of plumber's putty to about 3 quarters of an inch or 7 millimeters thick. Then wrap it around underneath the flange and remove any excess. Press to spread and seat it around the flange. Place the strainer basket into the sink hole and press down firmly. Under the sink, install the rubber washer, paper washer, pressure cup, and lock nut and tighten down. Repeat the same plumber's putty application for the opposite strainer or garbage disposal flange if applicable. Reconnect the garbage disposal mounting bracket and snap ring. Then wipe off any excess plumber putty on the strainer baskets. Insert the air gap through the counter and tighten down the top housing. Reconnect the drain pipe tailpiece and the air gap hose and tighten down. Then connect the drain connections and hand tighten them as well. Next, reconnect the garbage disposal and drain connections. Install the faucet and reconnect the water connections. Check to make sure water runs and there are no leaks. And once completed, you should enjoy your new Kohler Whitehaven apron sink for years to come. And for more quick tips and how-tos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. To shop for this and more, visit eFaucets.com.